Elvis Presley, a name that resonates through the annals of music history, echoing the birth of a cultural revolution. The name alone conjures images of a hip-swiveling, guitar-slinging icon, a figure who redefined the boundaries of music and performance. He was the king of rock and roll, a symbol of rebellion and youthful exuberance, embodying the spirit of a generation that sought to break free from the constraints of the past. But behind the dazzling smile and the electrifying stage presence, there lived a man of profound complexities, a man whose inner world was often at odds with his public persona. A man grappling with personal demons, wrestling with the trappings of fame, and harboring a secret that would only surface years after his untimely demise. His life was a constant battle between the light of his public success and the shadows of his private struggles. Elvis's story is often told as one of meteoric rise and tragic fall, from his humble beginnings in Tupelo, Mississippi, to his unprecedented success and ultimately his tragic end, his life was a roller coaster of highs and lows. We remember the electrifying performances, the chart-topping hits, and the legions of screaming fans. His concerts were more than just musical events. They were cultural phenomena that left an indelible mark on the world. Yet, this narrative often overlooks the man behind the myth. The Elvis who struggled with the pressures of fame, who sought solace in spirituality, and who yearned for a simpler, more meaningful existence. It fails to capture the private struggles, the hidden heartaches and the weight of a secret that he carried with him until his final days. A secret that once revealed would change the way we understand the man behind the legend. This is the story of Elvis Presley, the man behind the legend. A story that delves into the depths of his soul, exploring the facets of his personality that were hidden from the public eye. This is a glimpse into his hidden world, a world of love and loss, of faith and doubt, of triumph and tragedy. A world where the king of rock and roll was also a man, with all the vulnerabilities and strengths that come with being human. This is the unveiling of a secret, carefully guarded for decades, that sheds new light on the king and his enduring legacy. A secret that reveals the true depth of his character and the complexities of his life. Join us as we journey beyond the familiar narrative, past the glitter and the glamour, to uncover the man behind the music. A journey that takes us into the heart of his struggles and triumphs, his fears and hopes. A man far more complex and compelling than the image often portrayed. A man whose legacy continues to inspire and intrigue long after the final curtain has fallen. Born in Tupelo, Mississippi, on January 8th, 1935, Elvis Aaron Presley came into the world in a small two-room house built by his father. Elvis's early life was marked by poverty and hardship. His family struggled to make ends meet, and the Great Depression only added to their woes. Despite these challenges, the Presley family was close-knit and deeply religious. He found solace in music, the gospel hymns of his childhood church leaving an indelible mark on his soul. The church was a sanctuary where young Elvis could escape the harsh realities of life and immerse himself in the uplifting power of song. His musical talents were evident from a young age, his voice possessing a raw power and emotional depth that belied his years. He would often perform at local events, captivating audiences with his unique blend of gospel, country and rhythm and blues. As Elvis's star ascended, he found himself increasingly isolated. The boy who once sang in church was now a global sensation, but the fame came at a cost. The adoration of millions couldn't fill the void of loneliness that grew within him. The pressures of fame, the relentless demands of touring, and the constant scrutiny of the public eye took their toll. The gruelling schedule left him physically and emotionally exhausted, and the constant need to perform became a heavy burden. He sought refuge in his music pouring his heart and soul into every performance. Each song was a piece of his story, a glimpse into the man behind the legend. Music was his sanctuary, a place where he could express his deepest emotions. Yet beneath the rhinestones and the swagger, Elvis yearned for a sense of normalcy. The glitz and glamour of show business often felt like a gilded cage, trapping him in a life that was far removed from his humble beginnings. He craved genuine connection, a love that transcended the superficiality of fame. 
The relationships he formed were often fleeting, unable to withstand the pressures of his celebrity status. His relationships, often played out in the glare of the spotlight, were passionate but tumultuous, reflecting his own inner turmoil. The king of rock and roll was, at his core, a man searching for love and acceptance, just like anyone else. Elvis's love life was a whirlwind of intense emotions and high-profile romances. From the moment he burst onto the scene, his charisma and talent drew people to him like a magnet. His relationships were often under the intense scrutiny of the public eye, making it difficult for him to find genuine connections. His marriage to Priscilla Presley, a love story that captivated the world, was both a source of great joy and deep sorrow. They met when Priscilla was just a teenager, and their relationship blossomed despite the challenges of Elvis's demanding career. Their wedding was a media sensation, but behind the scenes, the pressures of fame and the strains of Elvis's lifestyle took a toll on their union. The birth of his daughter, Lisa Marie, brought him immense happiness, yet the pressures of his career and his own personal struggles cast a shadow over their lives. Elvis adored Lisa Marie and cherished the moments he spent with her, but his relentless schedule and personal demons often kept him away from his family. Beyond the headlines and the paparazzi flashes, Elvis longed for a love that could withstand the pressures of his extraordinary life. He yearned for a partner who could understand the unique challenges he faced and offer him the emotional support he desperately needed. He sought solace in the arms of various women, each relationship a testament to his yearning for connection and his struggle to reconcile the demands of fame with the desires of his heart. These relationships, though often fleeting, provided him with moments of comfort and companionship, even if they couldn't offer the lasting love he craved. Despite the whirlwind of romance that surrounded him, Elvis remained a deeply sensitive and spiritual man. He was known for his generosity and kindness, often going out of his way to help those in need. His sensitivity made him acutely aware of the loneliness that sometimes accompanied his fame. He sought solace in his faith, finding comfort in the gospel music that had shaped his childhood. Gospel music was a refuge for Elvis, a place where he could connect with his roots and find peace amidst the chaos of his life. His performances of gospel songs were filled with emotion, reflecting his deep spiritual connection to the music. He often spoke of his belief in God and the afterlife, his words hinting at a search for meaning beyond the material world. Elvis's spirituality was a guiding force in his life, helping him navigate the highs and lows of his career. In interviews, he would often reflect on the importance of faith and the comfort it brought him, revealing a side of himself that was deeply introspective and contemplative. As Elvis's fame reached stratospheric heights, so too did the pressures that came with it. The relentless touring schedule, the constant scrutiny of the media, and the demands of a demanding industry took their toll. He began to rely on prescription drugs, a dangerous crutch that provided temporary relief, but ultimately led him down a dark path. Rumours of Elvis's drug use and erratic behaviour began to circulate, casting a shadow over his image. The once invincible king seemed increasingly vulnerable, his struggles a stark reminder of the human cost of fame. Despite the whispers and the concerns, Elvis remained a magnetic performer, his voice still capable of stirring the souls of millions. The weight of Elvis's fame became an almost unbearable burden. He was trapped in a gilded cage of his own making, adored by millions yet desperately lonely. The friends he trusted, often members of his inner circle known as the Memphis Mafia, struggled to guide him away from the precipice. The once vibrant young man who had revolutionised popular music was now a shadow of his former self. His performances, while still electrifying, were tinged with a sadness that spoke volumes. The king was losing his battle with his demons, his decline a cautionary tale of the price of fame. Throughout his tumultuous life, Elvis found solace in his faith. He was a devout Christian, his belief in God a constant source of strength and comfort. He would often spend hours reading the Bible, seeking guidance and peace in its pages. His gospel roots ran deep, influencing not only his music but also his outlook on life and death. 
Elvis's spiritual side was often overshadowed by his public persona. The hip-swiveling rock star and the devout Christian seemed at odds, yet they were two sides of the same coin. He saw no contradiction in his love for God and his passion for music. To Elvis, both were expressions of the divine spirit that resided within him. Elvis Presley's death on August 16th, 1977, the world. The king was dead at the age of 42. His life cut tragically short. His official cause of death was heart failure, but in the years of prescription drug undoubtedly take their toll. His death, Elvis's legacy, became a subject of much debate. Some chose to remember him as a vibrant young man who had changed the face of music. Others focused on the tragic figure he had become in his late years. If a cautionary tale of the perils of fame and addiction. For decades, a secret surrounding Elvis's life remained hidden from public view. It was a secret that, if revealed, had the potential to tarnish his image and forever alter the way he was perceived. This secret, carefully guarded by those closest to him, involved his relationships with very young girls. Rumours of Elvis's predilection for underage girls had circulated for years, but they were often dismissed as tabloid fodder or the ramblings of jealous rivals. However, evidence suggests that these rumours were based in truth. Accounts from former girlfriends and associates paint a disturbing picture of a man who used his fame and power to exploit vulnerable young women. The revelation of Elvis's dark secret casts a long shadow over his legacy. It forces us to confront the uncomfortable truth that our idols are often flawed individuals, capable of great love and great transgression. It challenges us to reconcile the artist with the man, the icon with the human being behind the carefully constructed persona. Despite the unsettling truths that have emerged, Elvis Presley's impact on music and popular culture remains undeniable. He was a true original, a once-in-a-generation talent who changed the world with his music. His voice, his charisma, and his undeniable stage presence continue to captivate audiences generations after his death. Elvis Presley's story is a complex tapestry of triumph and tragedy, of love and loss, of faith and doubt. He was a man of contradictions, a symbol of rebellion who yearned for normalcy, a charismatic performer who battled inner demons. His legacy, like his life, remains a subject of fascination and debate. What are your thoughts on this untold aspect of Elvis's life? How do you reconcile his artistic genius with his personal failings? Share your perspectives and join the conversation as we delve deeper into the enigmatic life of the King of Rock and Roll.